Hey guys, this is Jesse, and I'm going to be showing you another Power Mac uh, G4 video. This time I'm going to be showing you how to install a new hard drive in here. It's pretty easy, but I decided to show you some to, uh, all those that don't are lost, completely lost, and don't know what to do. So, here's my Power Mac G4, which is already open, and of course, as all, all of you already know, to open it, you just pull this switch out, and then pull out. Alright, uh, I usually do recommend for you to unplug the cables, because... You know, this VGA cable's not even connected and running, it's just hanging out, it could mess it up. And uh, if you if some of these cables just pull too hard, it could just pull the entire thing out. So, that's what I recommend, but I already have them placed in certain places where it won't fall off. Uh, okay, so you can notice a few things here already. You got the logic board, uh, all your I.O. back here, you'll see these, the ex expansion cards. Back here is a hard drive. So, this is a hard drive I put in here. There's actually two hard drives in here, so one... Two, two ribbon cables that go in here. This is a lot better than the PCs that had 19 whatever because back then you would have a ribbon cable and then all these cables running out everywhere just going up to the top up here. But this would be but here you have the ribbon cable and just go straight into the computer. So back then you had these big old cables going everywhere and I don't really since I have all um these computers since I have old computers like that, it's like this just all these cables running everywhere like this. It's crazy. Okay, so uh I will be taking out, I'll be upgrading this hard drive. I got it from a Windows 98 computer, PC computer from a friend, and I've had it, I had the computer for a while, but I upgraded it to uh, Windows XP, so this had Windows XP on it. Let's see if I can do this with one hand, it's gonna be hard, okay? The ribbon cable is pretty easy to take out. The power cable, sometimes it's kinda hard to take out. All right, so now I got that out. Uh, I've tried to take out the hard drive on the bottom, so this is a 40 gigabyte. Uh, Western Digital Hard Drive. Can you see it's over there at the top, right there? Western Digital Hard Drive. Um, I hate looking how big these things are. It's a, I'm pretty sure it's a 40 gig. Yeah, 40 gigabyte. I can see it now. 40 gigabyte hard drive. I don't know why I cannot take it out. I think it's screwed in at the bottom or something down and below. I've never put this upside down, so I'm not very sure. So now I've removed the hard drive, and it's pretty easy because oh, there's not really any screws holding it in place. You probably could, but depends on how big. It, it, the hard drive is and the screws are going to get in. So this is the hard drive I'm going to be replacing with it. It's a Mac Store 40 gigabyte hard drive. Um, I pulled this out of this computer right here. Actually, these computers do have good hard drives. I mean, 40, gig, 40 gigabyte is pretty good compared to the stand, this, uh, I don't know, this is a 20 gigabyte, but it had 15 gigabytes on there for some reason. It took off like 5 gigs from installing Mac OS 10.4. So what I did, I reinstalled 10.4 on here. This will be my test hard drive. For any new computers I get, so I'll plug this into my, the computer and see if it turns on. It has the minimum stuff, it has all the default stuff. I didn't update nothing. iTunes, it has like 4.0 on there probably. And uh, it's nothing updated, it's just a test hard drive now. This will be kind of a, kind of my secondary hard drive for maybe emergency. Like if my, like what happened, my hard drive, my this hard drive messed up or something like that. I needed to reinstall it and usually I reinstall it using Firewire because that's the only way. That is the best way for I can do it. It's safe. That I've done it uh, like dozens of times with all these computers. I've tried it with that one, but that one logic board was messed up, so I can do that. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna be reinstalling this, and you know how it looks a lot. Uh, I reinstalled 10.4 on here. Of course, uh, this will be emer this will be a test, and this will be emergency, just in case I need to reinstall anything, or my backup, just in case you know if I run out of stuff. I always put minimum stuff on my hard drive just because I like keeping everything original. <coughs> okay, so these hard drives are a lot different. Um, pretty much the same length on it. Uh, dimension is a lot. This one's a lot bigger, and uh, put them on top of each other. They're pretty much the same uh, length and same width. But the, no, the width of it is a lot different. It's about maybe half an inch lower, but well, that's a 20 gig right here, and this is a 40 gig, so, yeah, and this one, I don't know what mark this is, an IDE 20 gigabyte, 7, 7200 RPM, okay, so, that one was a lot easier to read, because you can see the capacity right there, capacity for, uh, 20 gigs, for here, it says a, uh, Maxter, 40 gigabyte, um, can't really see how much RPM it has on there, but yeah, I'll be installing this, and it's pretty simple. I, I kind of like these hard drives because they're a lot easier to install than the other hard drive than the other hard drives. Because on the other ones, 
you have to connect uh, two cables. They're a lot easier to take on and take off. You would have to connect one cable here for the the actual ribbon cable to connect to the logic board, and you would have a power little tiny cable. They made the hard drives a lot smaller. That's the one that goes into the uh, <coughs> Power Mac G5. And I have a hard drive. It's about 250 gigabytes. Um, in my closet, but I really don't use it because I can't connect it to the computer to the um to the G5. So, uh, for our hard drive, you put it on top of this hard drive. So you see, like, looks pretty much normal. And uh, the ribbon cable. It see the clock. Would go into. You got the ribbon cable and you just push in. I'm doing this with one hand, so for you guys it'll be pretty easy to do it with two hands. So that, that, and you see it's free to move around, but the ribbon cable pretty much keeps it from coming out and really you're not going to be moving your computer that much unless you're moving from one place to another. So here you get the uh, power cable that's right next to it. It's right above the power cable for the original hard drive. You just plug it in. So there, okay, there. There, just make sure it's secure. And there, your hard drive is not connected. Uh, do a little t uh, turn on. Make sure I got it plugged in. Let's see. So now, close this up. And what I did, I don't always. I recommend taking out the power cable sometimes. Just make sure you're not to risk of uh, electrical shock. Um. So there we go. And uh, let's do a little test right quick. Right, uh, boot time of it, it's kind of getting slower, I'm, it's a lot slower, I don't know exactly why, it just takes a little longer maybe because of the, when the hard drive messed up, so I reinstalled 10.4 yesterday, I was all day yesterday until like 11 o'clock reinstalling 10.4, it didn't take that long but I was doing that, getting a blinking question mark right now, let me focus that so you can see it a little better, alright so you're getting a blinking question mark, but it shouldn't be long until it finally finds that hard drive that is uh, Installed on it, Macintosh HD, which is the original one which I installed on. This can happen sometimes. Don't panic automatically. This is the problem that my this iMac had. It continuously said this little problem on it, but uh, for this one, it only say I've seen this thing a few times. It only say for a minute or two, and then it should boot up. So I'm alone getting is this little. And on the internet, they really do not help you. I've looked everywhere. I was I spent like two years trying to fix this thing. Uh, I, I was on and off on it, basically, so I was not able to. But I finally found out. Use FireWire and put this in target disk mode. And then uh, trying to boot up from another hard drive. And then try to install 10.4 on this type of iMac or any other computer that it can use. Any other Mac that uses uh, FireWire. Hope this is taking a lot longer than usual. I will uh, do a restart. Click and then hold the option button down. I'm going to hold the option button and, and I will look for a hard drive manually. I wasn't expecting it to do this, but stuff like this happens, you just need to know what to do. Okay, so there. Now I'm in this little. It looks a lot older than what it did before. Uh, I mean, today, today you just have a white screen and then pop a hard drive, another hard drive or a CD or whatever you have it connected in here and you would just click it and it'll uh, boot it or whatever. So right now it's looking for a hard drive to boot off of. And it's not finding anything. Weird. Let me, re let me reload that. I just reinstalled 10.4 on, the, on the, the first hard drive so I don't know why I can't find it. I set it up as my, uh, boot dish or something. Well, I don't know. Uh, I'll make this a two-part uh, video. This is just my problem for some reason. Uh, but that was basically how you install a hard drive on there. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with it right now. It's probably just, like I said, my hard drive messed up before. But since I had two hard drives in there, it's probably confused right now. Where is the hard drive I'm using? I know it's in there and I installed it perfectly. So, uh, <coughs> that was basically how, how to install a hard drive. On a uh, Power Mac G4, don't even take in consideration what just happened with messing up the blink of question mark. That was just uh, probably my fault. The way I just installed the hardware is perfectly how you do it. Uh, I'll fix this right now and show you another part on it later on. So, uh, 
uh, I hope I'll see y'all in the next video. Uh, don't know exactly what it is. You can you can comment on um, you can comment and tell me what you want me to do with these computers or what you want to see and how to video. But uh, yeah, comment, rate, subscribe. It really helps me a lot. Uh, great support. So I'll see you guys in my next video.